Hi, Robin. Uh, I think I've modeled pretty close to what you have in your in your project here. Um, if I double click on my roof tool, you'll notice that I have auto rebuild roofs turned on. And what that's doing is means that any any changes I make to the um, to the model, it's automatically going to build some roofs. Say for on first floor, I move this here. Uh, you can see how that just updated things there. Um, let's turn, move that back. And there's that. If I move this wall over here, I don't want to move the roof plane. Move the wall. That moved. So, If I, one thing I did notice, if, if you go into your roof tool, uh, let's do this. My shortcut for roof planes is Q on the keyboard. So if I hit Q on the keyboard, if you're in roof tools, anywhere you click, you're going, as long as you're close to um, a roof object, you're going to select the roof. If you're in the wall tool, Anywhere you click close to a wall, you're going to select the wall. Even though you might be also close to a roof, you can select the wall. So that's a just a little quick tip. Go into whatever tool you're trying to select, whatever object you're trying to select, go into that tool and click there. Now, sometimes it's tricky because you got to figure out which, which roof plane you're selecting. So on one side you're going to one side of this line you're going to select this roof plane on the other side of the line you're going to select that roof plane and i'm going to just drag that over and i get this this box saying hey this operation which you just did by moving that roof plane creates or modifies a roof plane with the auto rebuild roofs turned on, your changes will be lost the next time the roof is rebuilt. Do you want to turn the auto rebuild roofs off and continue? Or do you want to not continue? If we don't continue, it'll go right back to where it is. Or let's double click on this. So that's, that's turned on. If I move this and say yes, I want I know what I'm doing I want to manually move this roof now if I double click on this roof tool the program turned this off because what it's saying is I can't have both scenarios where I where the ch program is rebuilding the roof automatically and have a manually adjusted roof the program will be like but as soon as I auto rebuild, I'm going to put that manual roof back where I think it's back where the program thinks it's going to be. So you could deal with this in two ways. Auto rebuild the roof. Notice, yeah, the roof, when I put in auto rebuild roofs, it says, hey, the roof surfaces you edited and changed will be deleted. Do you want to continue? Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. So I'm going to select this wall and this wall and change them to a full gable wall. I used the, um, let's go back. I used this icon down here, or you can open those walls, go into roof and go full gable wall there. And there's your, there's your shed. If I want to change the pitch of that, I can select this wall say these roofs are all correct up here i don't want to change the pitch here because that'll be that'll change all of those i just want to change this roof right here so i select this wall and in this wall the roof tool i can change the pitch of that they do it like that so that's that's a quick way of doing it with the auto roofs on now if let's go back and 
change this to eight. And let's change these to hips. I could manually do it and just delete this roof. Yes, I'm going to delete that, delete that, delete that. Change this roof to four. And just manually adjust around here. So what I'm doing is, uh, let me back up here, uh, undo. What I'm doing is I'm selecting this roof edge and I'm hitting the number three key that I've set that up three on my keyboard is the break tool. So I can break this line and add another diamond control point so that it doesn't just move the whole line like this. I want to add a diamond control point. So if if my my edit toolbar is down here, so this is the break tool. If I double right click on this line, you can add a break right there and see that's my that's my keyboard shortcut, add a break. So I'm going to add another break, hit the 3 key. And now I've got one on, along this line here. Along this whole line, I've got, I got one end control point, another end control point, and control points in the middle. That's these diamonds right there. So now I'm just going to grab those diamonds and shape this around here. I'm going to add one more break in here. And I can shape this right around here. Right around this, right around these walls. And now I can just grab, grab this diamond and pull it over there and there's my shed so that's a manually adjusted shed hopes that's help. i hope that's helpful any more questions reach out post post your questions here good to have you